Looks like we were battling the sun here, trying to get a view on the on our screen. Calvin Castine at Shazy for a youth soccer game. Bantams. Oh, nice stop there, Shazy in the maroon, and the Champlain Rouses Point team in black. Don't tell Noreen Barcom, but I'm standing in the cemetery. They have it uh, blocked off wisely because a lot of cars would park in here. People roaming around the cemetery don't really need that, so they blocked it off. So this uh, we're a little late for the start of this one. We'll get what we get. with no shade for the viewer. I know I complain about it once in a while. The uh, view was very tough for sun reflecting off the viewer. Beautiful throw. orange ball though. Come on, come on, come on. That did stop by the goalie. Nice nice job. We'll probably be about halfway through this first half of this game. Most of the morning with the North Country Honor Flight. Always an honor to be there with them. I don't like the 515 alarm clock, but uh, it comes with the, the territory. What do you got? Refs blowing a whistle, volunteer refs. Players off the uh, youth teams, off, off the school teams, I should say. What are they going to do here? Have a free kick. Free kick. A little black. Nice, nice ball, nice lead right all the way, all the way to the keeper. Nice, nice ball. Temperature about 70 degrees. It's just a very nice day in the North Country today. Type of day you'd like to like to have about a hundred of throughout the course of the year. We got corner kick here. Yeah. Back in. 
Is he trying to clear it? You might think the uh, maroon team with the Cougar colors would be the Champlain Ross's Point squad, but it's one of the Shay Z squads. This is field number seven, I think. Right in the middle of six and eight, obviously. Uh, games going on. This is their annual tournament that normally competes with the Battle of Plattsburgh events, but the Battle of Plattsburgh is next weekend. Today is the seventh. Shot and nice stop by the goalie. Always wearing the same colored uh, shirt as the rest of the players. Doesn't have a penny on or anything. And be a goal kick goes off the end. The well, game's going on here all day on at least eight fields. You'd expect no less. In the town of Shazy. Red throw. A bit overcast. Uh, Hurricane Dorian is uh, out to the east of us now after devastating parts of Bermuda. Or Bahamas, excuse me. Parts of the Bahamas. Can't imagine a hurricane sitting over you and only traveling at one mile an hour, which is the situation they had for days. Just flattened everything. Looks like it's halftime. I'll have to check to see if there's a score. Alright, uh, they've switched sides. The uh, game we did earlier, they didn't switch ends. We have heard that it's one nothing Champlain and Rouse's Point and Team in Black leading the Maroon Eagles here. Red throw. Player down. That'll be a free kick for Shazy. Black throw. Is 
you with the toss. And we got the free kick for the black team. Oh, sliding safe. You said there's field uh, six. This is field seven. Field eight is over that way. As we mentioned in the first game, there's a whole lot of soccer for these youngsters in the fall. tournament and it's the uh, Ross's Point tournament and the Moores Roxanne Luan Memorial Tournament. So three weekends of a ooh shot quick shot hard shot good job by the keeper. Uh, a lot of soccer on the weekends in addition to the regular league schedule. For this uh, tournament, they'd be sitting home, pushing buttons on their phone. So, uh, the more we can get these kids out here exercising and interacting with human beings, the better off we all are. Looks like it's going to be a corner. Yeah, looks like it's going to be a corner kick. Who's going to take? Here we go. It goes behind the net. It'll be a goal kick. Well, we're going to do three games today all together. Uh, I had the honor flight this morning. We had two games. Last night. High school games. So. Shot goes wide, and apparently it was, wasn't touched by the goalie, so it's going to be a goal kick. No, it's going to be a corner. Is it a corner? Apparently. Goalie thinks it's a corner, but the ref looks like he's doesn't want to give it a corner. 
So they're going to call it a goal kick. Same point across this point, brings it right back. Red throw. Off the Cougar team. I'm not sure what the, they have a nickname. I'm sure it's not Cougars and Eagles, but that's what we'll call them for our benefit. corner. Be a goal kick. Looking to penetrate. Kicked out. Nice boot. Red throw. Sides coming in for the red Shay-Z team. in four minutes. Fundraiser is well attended. As you expect, there's food booths open. But save. <laughs> he thought maybe it was a direct kick back to him, so he kicked it. Catching heck. From one of the coaches there, but uh, when in doubt, if, if the ref calls intentional kick to him, he'd been in big trouble. So, it came off a teammate's foot, so he, he took the safe route, and probably what I would have done too, because a, a defender cannot deliberately kick the ball 
to the goalie, and then the goalie handle it with his hands. The goalie has to play the ball with his or her feet or body or head, whatever. You can't. Uh, the defense deliberately kicks the ball back to the to the keeper. He cannot pick it up. He has to play it with his feet or body. So better to err on the side of caution than to have a, a handball called on you six feet away from the goal. And just because you know it wasn't deliberately kicked back to you doesn't mean the ref is going to interpret it that way. So, as I said, better to decide the error on the side of caution than give the other team a, a direct kick uh, in that area. Like a corner kick again for the black team. Well, you can see from the background and all around here, there's just no place to park. It's just a, a full day here. We're fortunate to find a, a vacant spot on the side of the road. Nice stop there by the goalie. That'd be down to within the last minute based on that four minute warning that we heard. Um, so, great turnout, beautiful day, and there is the final whistle. <laughs> there we go, they're still playing it. So it's a victory for the black team. They win this one one to nothing. Defeating the Maroon Shazy Club. So that's the way it was on this September 7th, 2019. Sorry we didn't get here in time for the uh, only goal of the game. Busy thing, we've got to get our videos up on the internet. That doesn't happen without me spending an hour or so in front of the computer. So it's not, 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 just, not just recording this and it automatically goes online. A reminder, this is viewer-supported local television. Uh, we no longer have our advertisers or least channel or advertisers. So. It's now completely up to the viewers to support this programming if you want it to continue. If you don't care one way or the other, then don't support Hometown Cable. But if you do, step up to the plate and start supporting our efforts. In the meantime, thank you for watching.